Today I'm reviewing the Carry C7 from A11N Sports. It's a value paddle and you're going to want to stick around for this review because this paddle, the performance of this paddle, absolutely shocked me. Let's get into the specs and then I'll give you my overall review. So there are two versions of the Carry C7. There's the standard version, which I have, and then there's an XL version, which is a little bit longer. It's an elongated paddle. We're going to be talking about this standard paddle, which is 16.5 inches long, which is still pretty long for a paddle. 7.38 inches wide. It's got a grip length of 5.25 inches and a grip circumference of 4.33 inches. It's got a 16 millimeter core. Weight comes in between 8 and 8.4 ounces. Uh, and it's got a raw carbon fiber face. All right, so let's talk pop and power. Pop and power are pretty low on this paddle because it's primarily a control paddle. Balls don't really pop off the face like on a lot of other paddles. And the put away power really isn't there. I would describe this paddle as quite plush and depending on how you like to play that can be a good thing. Spin and control are where this paddle excels. I was able to reset drives right into the kitchen. I was able to sustain long dink rallies with this and I was able to generate a lot of spin. Now, I don't have spin numbers for you. I don't really do that. But I will say this, that I was able to get the ball to curve on my serves quite a bit. And a number of the people that I played against with this paddle really noticed how basically the ball was bending on the serves. And it was obvious to me. It was obvious to my opponents. And that's where this paddle really excels. It's a little bit longer of a paddle when it comes to the face and so that's really going to benefit you on those extended dink rallies so that you can get set and then use that long face and a fairly large sweet spot to really just keep things going, keep that ball going, and keep the point going until you can get an opportunity to score a winner. I'd say the weight and the speed of this paddle are pretty average. For a longer paddle, it's pretty well balanced, and so it's not as slow in my hand as a lot of other long, longer paddles that I've played with, but it's also not as fast as, say, a hybrid shape paddle like the Vatic Pro that I typically play with. I'd also say that it. I think this one came in at like 8.3 ounces or something like that, so a little on the heavier range that they give you of 8 to 8.4 ounces. But I didn't really feel like that really impacted things. It's a fairly balanced paddle. So you're not going to be super slow at the kitchen line. But it's not going to be as fast as say like one of those thin gearboxes. The grip and appearance are pretty standard. I mean it, it, it's got these colorful little accents here and there so there's a little dash of color to the black face of the carbon fiber i i like that the grip is very comfortable not a fan of the white because it looks dirtier a lot sooner than some of the other ones do i would like to have maybe seen this uh, rubber band be a little have a little splash of color on that as well they do have their logo on the end cap, so they're not going super cheap with a generic end cap. I think it's a fine looking paddle and nobody's going to look at it and go, what on earth is that? So the C7 is a well-built paddle. It seems very durable. I've had some knocks with it and no complaints. I'm not feeling any core crushing and I'm not feeling like anything is separating or anything like that. The paddle comes with a one year warranty and that is just incredible to me when we talk about the price. This thing is priced at $79.99 normally and it's on sale right now for $59.99 for Father's Day. So right now this is an exceptional value. Finally, I'll say that this paddle is for 
the intermediate player that's looking for a value paddle. Maybe they want a spare one. Or it's for the beginner who's looking to get started and they don't want to spend a ton of money on their first paddle. This is the paddle for you. If you're looking for a control paddle, the Carry C7 from A11N Sports is the paddle for you. Really surprised, really shocked by the performance of this paddle. Pleasantly surprised. And I can't thank them enough for sending me this paddle to review. It was just, it's a joy to play with this. And I am going to keep this in my bag with me every time I go to the courts to play. So that I can have it on hand if I'm just not going so well with my normal paddle. I can pull this out and know that I've got a nice soft paddle that I can use to slow the game down when things just aren't going right for me. All right, so that's it for this review. The Carry C7 from A11N Sports is just a dynamite paddle, and I highly recommend that you get one. I, I know I'm being quite effusive about this paddle. It's mainly because of the price and the value of it. There are other companies that are selling a paddle like this for $119, $140, $40, you know, in that price range, you're going to get a great deal of when you buy this paddle. So can't recommend it enough. Check it out today. And I'll talk to you next week when I will be reviewing the Alpha from Cortec Pickleball. Bye.